It appears as though creative differences might not be the only thing that have gotten in the way of new System of a Down music over the last decade. In a series of new posts on System of a Down drummer John Domayan's Instagram, Serge and John have shared differing views on politics, with Domayan's views that are conservative in nature seemingly at odds with Serge, who is a noted liberal. So the first post came about a week ago when John posted this image that says, are you an American or a Democrat? And he said, this is as good a troll as I've seen. Let the comments fly. A lot of people taking note of the difference in political views immediately tagged Serge. Uh, Serge later commented and said, are you a fascist or a Trumpista? And then later John commented and said, I don't play the trumpet. And then things ramped up again over the weekend when John Domayan posted this picture that says, prison, the ideal leftist society, no need to work, free housing, free healthcare, free food, free education, free utilities. Everyone is treated equally. Everyone is economically equal. A diverse population filled with ethnic minorities. Only the law enforcement officials have guns. He attached the following caption for all the self-proclaimed socialists. Looks like we found the perfect place for you. Socialism is a disease that leads to the same outcome every time. Fascism, starvation, and death. Be wary of ideals wrapped in moral superiority that rob you of your right of expression, freedom of speech, and self-protection against the tyranny of government. Serge and John then got into a debate in the comments of that post as well, of which Serge also commented on, and he said, Capitalism and socialism are not unique destinations, but points on a line. The U.S. is not purely capitalist and most Northern European nations aren't purely socialist. The most successful countries seem to blend free enterprise with proper care for their people in the form of quality education, a decent living wage, and health care. When I say successful, I'm considering the happiness index along with GNP. Let's remember it is an uneducated democracy that generally votes against its own interests. John responded and said, that's all well and good, but my issue is with people who refer to themselves as socialists doing the best they can to undermine free thought and dismantle the Constitution and amendments to the Constitution of this country, all while attempting to disarm the very people they pretend to protect. The fact that social programs and platforms are in place both here and abroad is nothing new. In fact, it's commonplace where there is great economic and industrial growth as there has been in the US in the last century or so. There is a lot of negativity and bias from both the press and Hollywood elitist. And personally, it sickens me that some of the most hypocritical and closed-minded people are sitting on a moral high ground and dressing down the perceived smaller thinkers. I see this time in history no different than what took place during McCarthyism in the late 1950s, with the exception being that at least then the enemy was communism. People's lives are being ruined, but only for leaning right politically and the same politicians who four years ago were fighting for some of the things Trump is trying to get done are now vehemently opposed to these same policies. Is it a coincidence that Gore, the Clintons, Obama, Pelosi, and so many other career politicians have become near billionaires while their constituents are, if anything, in a far worse situation? Is it a coincidence that nearly all democratic and highly gun-controlled cities have the highest gun deaths, worst poverty, and highest tax rates? I don't think it is. Interestingly enough, when asked about uh, musicians in the music industry are traditionally left-leaning oftentimes, uh, this person commented and said, it's sad to see there are a lot of leftists in heavy metal music. They are not even grateful of the capitalism that makes their lives a little uh, less worthless. He responds, John, and and says, they're mostly trying to placate the masses and are hypocritical in their private lives. Uh, There are a bunch more comments here uh, if you want to go down that rabbit hole. Of course, uh, we're not here to tell you what you should believe in. So if you're going to comment something below, make sure you keep it civilized and thoughtful. But uh, anyways, this does sort of underscore that there are more differences uh, than just creative. uh, And this is a much more nuanced situation because uh, I think that people in the past had sort of widely held that System of a Down was universally a left-leaning band. And that is not the case. There are some uh, differing views in the band. And maybe that might have something to do with some of the lyrical content and some of their songs uh, with the band moving forward and potentially wanting to write certain politically oriented songs and maybe facing some backlash. It's it's unclear, but we'll leave you with this. One person commented and said, dude, it's way easier to control people that way. But what do you know? You're a drummer who won't convince his bandmates to make new album. 
And uh, John comments and says, not for lack of trying. So the situation continues. That is all for now. You can check out these recommended videos and hit that subscribe button with notifications on so you don't miss out on breaking hard rock and heavy metal news. Thanks for joining us here at Rockfeed, and we'll see you all very soon.